Hi guys. Um, today I would like to talk about our new BI framework called My Reports. This framework is available for IX7 and also for IX2012. And also part of this video I would like to share some simple steps on how you can make uh, SQL SRS reports available in the IX, right? So first of all, let me show you the data structure. Uh, as you can see in my SQL Management Studio, I already got a connection to SQL Asia database. And the reason why I pick the SQL Asia database is because, as you know, IX7 uh, will come with a transactional database in the cloud. And as a benefit, you will get a secondary read-only database just for your repairing purposes, right? So you can build your Power BI or Excel, or in our case, SSRS report based on this secondary database. So it's not going to affect your transactional DB. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I have only one database called X7 and only one table called unapproved times. Right. The goal for today would be just to create a simple HR report and to list some of the fields in the report. Nothing special. Right. So let's move to the reporting builder and let's add a new data source. Give it a name. Um, this connection we choose to be embedded in the report. Plus, we would like connection type is Asia SQL database, and let's just build it. This is our connection string. And name of database is X7. We test the connection, it's all good. Um, the next step would be to create a new data set. Give it a name. Um, we would like to embed this in the report and we select our data source. Now, all we need is just our simple query. And we refresh the fields. It will ask us for credentials again, and this is okay. Uh, we provide the credentials. We hit okay. And fields should be replaced now. Refresh now. Okay, perfect. Uh, one more thing we need to add is we would like to filter this report by legal entity, right? IX company name parameter is, is a hidden parameter for this report. And IX by default will send the parameter of IX company name as a legal entity from where report is run. Uh, some of the extra parameters are available for you to use as well, like IX rendering culture, which will help you to build multi-language report, multi-language report, right? Multilingual report. Also IX user context, which shows you who is the user who is running the report and some others as well, right? For now, we only need only company name for this example, right? And we need to make this parameter hidden as we don't really expect user to select which company from which company to run this report also let's give it a name unapproved times report let's give it a name also let's add a table right um, yes we would like to delete the row we would like to delete the column and company and let's just display a What's the parameter of the company name? Okay. This is our header. And make it bold. Okay. Plus, we'll add a very simple table just with a couple of fields legal entity, time registration pay ID, profile date, and one more. Doesn't matter. Profile day. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Um, right, so make it bold, put it here. Let's just fit the space. Okay. Another thing is, uh, as now we, IX doesn't really pass the parameter, so we need to specify for now parameter which we would like to use, right, for legal entity, just to run the report and to check that everything is okay. M017. This is one of my legal entities in database. And let's run it. Oh, I think I just made a mistake. 
I probably put MO instead of M0. M0. Yep, sorry. My bad. Okay, let's run the report. And we get the data. Very simple report. Now, what we need to do is to save to the file. And I already have some reports built before, so I just override this one. So we just save the report. The next step would be to upload this report into AX. As you can see, this is my my reports configuration. And you can see I already have many, many reports from different systems. This is a scale production or warehouse management system, some of the reports available from the system into AX. And you can read more in my blog post on how how we made this possible. Right? So now let's focus on our unapproved time reports. Let's first check that we don't have any unapproved times reports here. Okay, good. So the next step would be to upload this report. We select the file. Okay, we wait for the system to upload this to Azure Blob Storage. The server name, we leave it empty because we would like to upload this report to the default SSRS server of IX, right? For sure, you have some options here to select from scale, let's say, or for AMT or for other different systems which has their own SSRS server. For this scenario, we really would like to upload this report just to IX reporting server. We also need to provide the path. And really, you can provide the different path here. You can say that this report, I would like to upload this report into Fi Finance, into IX Finance folder. Application, up to you, but let's say um, this is uh, Dynamics IX and category. I think we don't have HR here, but I will put sales and marketing. Doesn't really matter. And just override. And we hit next. Let's wait. Okay. So uh, this screen will show us available data sources in our report. And we will have to specify credentials one more time. So SSRS server of IX will keep those credentials to call your report, right? So let's just do one more time, right? And we need to specify a password. Uh, password. Okay. And we just upload report. Okay. It's all done. Now we can look for an approved times report. You can see that report has been uploaded and deployed and you can see our category and application name now uh, the only thing is what we have to do is just to specify the companies and security for for this report as uh, we can have a look right so for security we really would like this report to be available for everybody right so it means that we can uh, system user Sorry. Right? Okay. So as everybody in the system has role system user, this report will be available for everybody, for all users. And for the companies, we can specify the companies to which we would like to limit this report. But if you leave it empty, it means that all companies or all legal entities will have access to this report, right? Now you can run the report from here but I just would like to show you how will it look on, on the workspace, right? So in the workspace, we just need to find, oh, sorry, in the workspace, my reports, and you will see all the reports available to you, right? Now, let's just find it here, ah, report caption. The only thing is we forgot to update the report caption, just so it will look nice. Uh, this, the report configuration is available through the system administration, under my reports configuration screen, right? Let's just find our unapproved times report and let's just change the caption, right? Unapproved. So let's just change it to unapproved times report just to make it nice, right? So we'll get back to workspaces, my reports, and let's just find it. And we can see it now looking good. So now let's see the report. As we didn't provide any parameters, right? Only IX company name, uh, UI doesn't really show it here, right? So now we just can run this report. 
what's going to happen is ix uh, will call our Azure SQL, Azure Data SQL database and will display a report. As you can see, as I'm running now from the dot legal entity, report doesn't display any data because I don't have any legal name as legal, as a legal entity as dot, right? So what we can do is uh, I can change it to M017 just for the sake of experience and knowledge. Let's see if I have one. Yep, I have one here. SDI Australia, right? And find this report again and run it. Just run it. You can see how quick it is, like it just, UI is just flying and you get the report just in a second. And also you can see the example with, uh, as you can see uh, in our framework, we have a custom build HTML5 control for PDF rendering and it's just much faster than what you get from the standard report viewer control. You can see that report is rendered just in seconds, right? So, I mean, it's very unbelievable. Okay, so now what we also would like to do is to show you some interesting thing, right? How, what if we add now one more parameter? And let's call this parameter, I think we have a profile date, right? So let's create a new data set. Let's create a new data set. Uh, we call it profile date. We call it profile date. Yep, we embed it in the report and we use the data source. And we select, we select, let's just do it here. So what we really need is we select uh, profile date, profile, uh, what's the name, what's the name? We select profile day from this table, right? Let's just see if I get it right. Perfect. And all we need is just to group by profile date. So kind of get a distinct. Okay, Wednesday plus sort by, oops, sorry, different syntaxes, or by profile date. Friday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, yep. Anyway, doesn't matter, just an example. So we get this query and we refresh, right? Uh, we can also introduce the X company name parameter here as well, and should be right, but really for days, we don't really care if it's, you know, if it's uh, for each legal entity, it's just a date. It's just, it's just a day, day of week, right? So, and let's do it this way. We call it profile day and, yep, and we refresh, okay? So we get the new data set. Now we introduce one more parameter called uh, profile day, called profile day. Just remove the space as I called profile day. Oops, sorry guys, profile day. Uh, we want, we would like this to be hello blank and also provide the multi-values, right? And available values we'll get from a query. Profile date and profile date, profile date. Okay, done. Now we also need to change the first data set. So where profile date in profile day, right? Refresh fields, it's also, yep, so it doesn't like it. Uh, yep, I forgot the bracket. Refresh fields, it's all good. So in the parameters profile date, we just assign our parameter and we ready to run the report. Fail to preview report. Why? Uh, is invalid the value in the dot set name properties? Oh, yep, sure. So let's get back. Uh, because of this, as before, we had just one data source, uh, the table really just pick the first one, right? Now we have two data sets, so we have to specify which data set to use. It really doesn't matter, but you know, just some validation errors. And we run the report. Now let's say I would like to for Friday and Monday. And we run the report and we get only Friday and Monday. Perfect. Now all we need is just to save this report to the file which we already saved. And we need to come back to IX and system administration my reports configuration 
uh, we don't really need to find this report, but I mean we can we can find this report, and we just need to upload this again. Unapproved times report, right? Report path is IX finance finance application. Um, yep, dynamics IX, and also category would be yep, sales and marketing. And we also need to tick box to override this file because this file is already exists in this folder, so we need to override this. Now we hit next. And as you can see, as we already provided credentials before for this data set, it actually brings you this username. So all you need to do is just to specify your credentials or your password, and you just upload this report. Okay, we get this report uploaded. Now let's check it. We can run, run it from here, actually. Open report. Here we are. Now we have a drop-down list, which rendered in IX, right? And it brings all your values from your data set. Right, and we can multi-select some values. We can select and we run the report. Friday, Monday, and Saturday. And we get Friday, Monday, and Saturday. You can see that how simple it is and how quick it is now to deploy reports. And we just do the same for workspace, just to show that everything works as expected. We find the unapproved times report and we open this. It will show the same drop down, but it's even now remember all your choices. So it's really kind of beauty of IX plus the beauty of SSRS, it's all merged together, right? So you can just untick, select all or just Sunday and run the report. Uh, you can see the title because we have uploaded this again. I forgot to change the caption, but you get the idea, right? So you can see only for Sunday, right? And still you have all your options to export this as a PDF or XML, or we can say export as Excel. You can see that all these functions, the window could not be on, please, oh, yep, sure, because of pop-ups is blocked here, always, hello, done. So we export this again in Excel, and you can get, the, oh, yep, can't be rich, sorry. Yep, so, but <laughs> actually you, you can export this uh, just because I'm, I'm running through the proxy server here. So this is it. This is a demo, so please feel free to ask any questions or to contact us. Uh, and we will be very happy to run demo and to show you how you can create SQL reports, SQL SRS reports and really in just five minutes. I think I, I, I've done it more than five minutes, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys.